My next two guests became famous on Instagram for their color-coded home organizing tips. They're now New York Times best-selling authors and stars of their own hit Netflix series, Get Organized with the Home Edit, where they help celebrities like Reese Witherspoon and Jordana Brewster get organized. And they're here today to help us, well, see what we can do, too. Welcome, Clea Scherer and Joanna Teplin. Hey, guys. Hi. We're so <laughs> excited. Thank you for having us. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, what do you mean you guys are organizing experts? Where does all this come from? Joanna and I are only good at one thing. So it's like you have to just do the one thing that you're good at. And it happens for us that it's organized. It was not medical school for us. No. <laughs> we have no medical degree. No. Um, but, you know, you just you start to realize from an early age that, you know, your brain works better when things are in order. At least for us it did. And, you know, it was just, it was just something that, for lack of a better word, just kind of sparked with us. I yeah. think it just was like instant. Well, listen, people are at home a lot. And they're seeing a lot of messy areas that they've ignored uh, for all this time. You say the first thing people should do is purge yeah. and then organize. And um, that can feel overwhelming for a lot of people. How can people avoid feeling like this is just too much to do? Absolutely. Yeah. I would say the first thing to do is to start off really small. Pick a very small project that you can see through from the beginning to the end, like a drawer. If you have a junk drawer or if you have a bathroom drawer, you want to be able to walk the process all the way through and get your organizing wings. I think Joanne is absolutely right. But I think also maybe separate the purge from the organizing. You know, maybe just take the moment, take a beat to go through your items and make sure that you're removing anything that you don't love, need, or use. And then save the organizing for the next day or when you have another chunk of time. You know, you, you never want to bite off more than you can chew because you will end up in a fetal position on the floor. We believe that the key to long-term maintenance for any organized space is a labeling system. And labeling doesn't always mean, you know, labeling the folder with like a word. It can actually be, you know, attributing a color to it because, um, you know, it essentially is assigning it its own dedicated spot in your space. Um, you know, with books, you have your, your red books, your blue books, you know, whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. And for us, the rainbow really represents what we believe in as a company because it is form and function married together. It is actually a functional system where you are placing, you know, your certain clothing in a certain specific order or your books in a certain specific order. And it's aesthetically pleasing and beautiful to look at, which we think also inspires long-term maintenance because you want it to still look beautiful. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market. Panic about COVID. And how Panic do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.